Hi, Jackie Van Ruller here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about growing your eyebrows back. I do post these face maps to my Instagram page, but I'm also gonna try and add them to my videos whenever possible as well, so you can follow along. Um, what I'm talking about is people who lose their eyebrows from this last third to last half of the eyebrows right in this area. This is a sign of liver fatigue. So your eyebrows are a sense of how much liver energy you have. And your liver energy is about how much drive and motivation and athleticism and energy and ability to just speak your truth and stuff like that. That's all wood energy, that's all um, liver energy. And so as our eyebrows start to get shorter and shorter and shorter, it's actually telling you that you have a lot less of that energy to use and also that you're going to be less likely to be able to deal with toxins in your life and or toxic people in your life. And so you really want to um, have the energy to deal with toxins. So if you decide to go out for a drink, your body can process that and handle it easily. If um, you, know, you eat something that you normally wouldn't eat, that your body doesn't like have a total temper tantrum or whatever. So you wanna be able to handle those toxins in your life as well. If the outer third of your brow is missing, um, that is generally a sign of hypothyroidism, which is a condition of low liver chi, low liver energy. And if it's the last half of the brow, then that is generally signaling some um, gallbladder issues in there as well. Gallbladder has to do with the emotion of courage. And so it's basically saying that you don't have the courage to go out and fulfill your dreams, to do the things that you want to do. And instead you might be falling into that victim mentality or feeling like you want other people to do things for you. That's obviously not the way we wanna live life. And so as we work this, um, program, you might notice that you have a little more energy, a little more motivation, a little more courage along your path as well. So we are going to start halfway between the brow and your forehead. And we have a point right here in the middle that is um, point 197. This is for the eyes. The eyes have to do with your vision. And so helping you to see your vision clearly. It's also going to help with keeping your eyes open, bright and wide. And so bright eyes have to do with a quick thinking brain and it has to do with um, having vision and having um, goals in your life. Okay, then we're gonna work some relaxation points. So on that same plane, we're gonna come over this way and work just back and forth right in here. So this is a gallbladder point on the right hand side. On the left hand side, it's the spleen. The spleen is a great organ for giving you confidence and um, the ability to move towards the things that you want to. The gallbladder again has to do about courage, has to do with courage and having courage to move towards the things that are important towards you to you. Then the paired point with that one is going to be 34, which is going to be right on this inner brow here. This is a point for relaxing the shoulders and also taking some pressure off of um, your shoulders. A lot of times when you have liver issues, you might have a lot of tension in your shoulders. You might feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders, even if you don't have the energy to deal with it. And then we're going to go ahead and work this whole area right above the brows, and right within the brows as well. So just working this area is going to help to stimulate some growth. But also this is the zones of the liver and the gallbladder on the right and the spleen and the stomach on the left. A lot of times when you have low liver energy chi, it will affect your stomach and your spleen and your digestive system as well. A lot of times that will show up as like IBS or bloating or inability to digest fat. And dietary wise, when you have this going on, you actually want to increase your fat intake because your fat intake actually clears out your gallbladder and allows your gallbladder to make bile, which is a very important detoxify detoxifying agent in your digestive system. So when I say fats, I mean like fatty meat, particularly like steaks, burgers, things like that, but you actually want to avoid any grains, sugars, and carbs, because these things can all stress the liver, particularly if you've been eating a lot of these throughout your life. Eventually your liver gets very tired processing sugars, and it actually wants to have 
fat, it wants to have cholesterol to turn into hormones to give you energy. Um, and fat provides a really good source of energy for your body and your brain and particularly your nervous system. So now we're moving in right between the brows to point 26. This is a point for your um, hypothalamus and your pituitary gland. This is the master gland of all of your other glands and it helps your body to relax and um, to provide the hormones that your whole body needs. Okay, next we're gonna be working right beside the nose here and this is a thyroid point. So if you are missing your brows, a lot of times that is because your thyroid has been affected. So along the same lines with diet, we also want to avoid goitergenic foods. Goitergenic foods are foods that um, disrupt your thyroid hormones and can lead to issues um, with your thyroid. Goitergenic foods are often things that we think of as healthy, things like Brussels sprouts, kale, broccoli, cauliflower, sweet potatoes, soy foods, things like that. They're often thought of as healthy, but they actually have, um, all plant chemicals do have plant defense um, chemicals in them because they don't want to be eaten. And so they, um, these ones particularly affect the thyroid. And so you really want to avoid those foods. Um, before I had thyroid issues, I was eating a ton of sweet potatoes, a ton of Brussels sprouts, you know, a ton of kale, all those things. And once I stopped and I just uh, moved to a diet that was very high in um, protein and fat, particularly red meats, butter, ghee, things like that, um, all the issues that I had with my thyroid began to go away, um, including low energy, weight gain, all those things just kind of slowly went away as I began to change my diet. So you cannot fix your thyroid or your brows with reflexology alone because your body will need the proper nutrients. So if you are eating a vegetarian diet that's very high in cruciferous vegetables, very high in soy or things like that, you will not be able to fix um, that with reflexology alone. So make sure that you are doing some of those dietary changes and see how you feel. Also notice how you, how you feel after you eat Brussels sprouts or after you eat broccoli or cauliflower. Does it make you feel better? Does it give you more energy? Or does it kind of disrupt your gut or give you low energy? So now I'm working some pancreas points here on the upper lip. If you're pregnant, you want to avoid working the upper lip. Otherwise, anybody else can work it. And this is going to help to um, manage your insulin levels. And that's very important when it comes to thyroid. A lot of times your thyroid or your gallbladder will um, be disrupted as a result of having very high insulin levels or eating a very high carbohydrate diet. Then we're gonna to move to the liver gallbladder points on the right hand side. So in line with the bottom of the nose, directly underneath the iris of the eye is the liver. And we want to increase that liver chi. So we wanna make sure that we have lots of energy moving through the liver to give us more focus, motivation, energy, athleticism. And then a little bit to the right of that is our gallbladder point. Gallbladder point is very detoxifying, especially to your gut. So you wanna work that point and work the gallbladder as well. Okay, then we're gonna come in and work right on the edge of the chin here. This is another point for the liver. This is a muscle relaxant point. A lot of times when the liver is stressed, your muscles will feel very tense, particularly in the shoulders and in the neck. And of course our thyroid is right here in the neck. So you want to relax that neck and bring healing energy to that thyroid. Okay. And then we're going to work right in front of this earlobe here. This is a thyroid point and it's specifically a great point to work when you have hypothyroidism. So if you have that last third of the brow is disappearing, you want to work this point. This point might feel very tense. It might feel very stuck. If that's the case, it's telling you that you do have a lot of stress there in that thyroid area. It's also telling you that you have some lymph stagnation. So this is a common point for lymph to get stuck in your face and this can cause some excess fluid um, and inflammation in the neck that you might are gonna see also with thyroid issues. Okay. And then we want to end, as always, by circling the ear. So starting at the top of the ear, coming down that front side of the ear, 
coming behind the ear, working just for a second behind the earlobe, and then circling around. Doing this a good 10 to 15 times on each ear. This helps to balance your autonomic nervous system, your sympathetic and your parasympathetic. It helps to improve lymphatic drainage through your face and neck. And it just feels really good. Your ears are a um, reflection of your kidney health and particularly your Jing, which is your body's battery, your body's overall energy. And so we wanna have nice, strong, healthy ears. And doing this can also help to improve that kidney energy. That kidney energy has to do with flow, balance, regulation, and creativity. All right, this is a video you're gonna be wanting to do on a regular basis because it takes a long time for thyroid and gallbladder issues to show up in your body, and so it will take a while to fix them. This is something that is not gonna happen overnight. You will need to institute dietary changes if you are not already eating plenty of protein and fat. And if you are eating a lot of carbohydrates, especially carbohydrates that are those um, goitergenic foods, those foods that are going to affect your thyroid, you're going to have to change that in order to change the brows on your face as well. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, pass it along to somebody who can use it and keep me updated on your progress. I love hearing about it.